Matthias Battles, he's one of those uh, unique, unique kids. You know, when you talk about, you know, someone that wants it, you know, someone that is willing to do whatever it takes to be successful, he fits the bill. I think Ty is one of those guys that he envisions success. I think a lot of kids fear failure. Um, I think the great ones don't fear failure. They envision success and they crave those moments. And Ty's battle stepped up. He's got talent. There's no doubt that kid's got talent. And he's craved those moments and he's, he's done a pretty good job in those moments. That's, uh, it's not quite the same. We can't uh, say otherwise. But the, these two programs were in the same conference and played at least two and very often three times a year. Uh, this was as intense as it's gotten. It hasn't quite been like that, but still, it always feels like a big stage when Syracuse and Georgetown get together and could be a breakout game for somebody. You know Georgetown's going to come in here and, and play intense and play aggressive and play physical. This is a very, very tough non-conference game that Syracuse really needs in order to push them through the next step. Absolutely zero hesitation. They're just beating Syracuse right down the court. This is what we saw down at Georgetown last year as they took a big lead. Syracuse was able to come back. The bad news is that Syracuse has also taken 14 shots and has made just one from beyond the arc. The Orange as a team are less than 20% shooting from the field. Timeout taken by Coach Beheim. So he's really trying to get their attention here. This one could slip away. Coach, he challenged our entire group, to be honest, at halftime. You know, there was one time out in the first half where Coach actually said to Tyus, you can't score against these guys? And Tyus's <laughs> response was, oh, I'm going to score. Ty was, was challenged individually. A couple other guys were challenged individually at halftime, and they responded. At the Carrier Dome, 35-22, the score with Georgetown in the lead at the half, and the Orange in trouble. So I guess has to make some shots. A lot of time left in this thing, but they got to start to chip away immediately. They stand here at the Carrier Dome until the Orange makes its first bucket of each half, and Battle's going to sit him down. A turnover. Three on two. Hughes will lay it in. Momentum shift here in the opening minutes. Numbers again. Battle again. Timeout Hoyas. It's a three point game. And the dome is up for grabs. Just under four minutes gone by in the second half. Syracuse has closed that big deficit to three. 39 36. Thanks to the highest battle. Looking at the right place at the right time. He knows even she knows. Uh -uh. Reset with a corner three. Much better rhythm there for Brissett. Howard on the bench with four fouls. Carry in at the point. And Chukwu with another bucket. And a block by Brissett. Battle with a long two. All of a sudden, they can't miss. Dan, I've seen this before with Syracuse. Ty's battle absolutely taking over the game in money time for the Cuse. Brissett got a chance for three. And this is what makes Brissett so difficult to deal with. You put a big out there on the floor, he drives you. If it's a smaller guy, he takes you in the post. Before the game. How about that? Elijah Hughes. Yeah, that's just too much. <laughs> that's, that's just too yeah, much. That's, that's tip your Woo. cap kind of stuff right there. Hughes steps into a three from Terry. Elijah, one more time. Three, second half three. Man, this is like a different group than yeah. we saw in the first half. 
And it's Syracuse ball. We're going to see some pressure here from Georgetown. Syracuse came back from 15 down, took the lead. Georgetown's got it back. Oh! Shoot through from battle, and it's a one-point game. Carey turns to the Malinowski and Buck. Two on the timer. Carey, a big shot around the rim. Rebels and falls. Orange back on top. Shot clock running down. Govan with another big bucket for the Hoyas. Up top for Reset. You can hear the Georgetown defense communicating. Battle twists up a three. It's right on line. It's in for a two point lead 70 to 68. 24 for Tyus. Always a flare for the big shot. Yes, sir. 15 to shoot. Syracuse by two. Govan a three for the lead. Got it. They keep trading buckets. The clock keeps ticking. Georgetown ball. Do you have to foul or can you play it out with a five second difference? I think they can play it out. Screen by Govan. Offensive foul. Dolajai stepping in. Battle comes to get it. Mosley is on him. Four seconds. If I'm being completely honest, what was going through my head was Marek was wide open. <laughs> Marek's wide open. Um, but there's a certain calm when Tyus Battle takes a shot. You know, he's, he's done it again. You know, he's done it time and again. He really has. And, um, Pretty cool, you know. I've, I've been a part of a couple of Georgetown Syracuse games like this, so not bad being a part of another one. That's big time stuff right there, my friend. Oh, I've seen this movie before. Tyus Battle has a penchant for knocking down big shots. 